In this lesson, the target states, I can find the perimeter of polygons and the circumference of a circle. Perimeter and circumference are kind of the same thing. Perimeter or circumference are the distance around, but the distance around a square, like this, would be called the perimeter, and the distance around a circle would be called the circumference. Since we have circles, squares, and rectangles around us all the time, it's a pretty useful thing to know. This picture is trying to demonstrate how a volleyball is a circle and a volleyball court is a rectangle, so we're surrounded by circles and rectangles all the time. A triangle is a type of polygon. It's got three sides. So to find the perimeter of a triangle, we would just add up the length of all three sides. It's the length of this side plus the length of this side plus the length of this side to give us a total of 32 centimeters. 9 plus 11 is 20, plus 12 is 32 centimeters. So the perimeter of this triangle would be 32 centimeters. Perimeter of a rectangle and a square can be found differently. For a triangle, adding all three sides, because all three sides are different, is the only way to go. But for a rectangle or a square, we'll start with a rectangle. A rectangle has all, all right angles and two sets of parallel sides, but it doesn't have all sides the same length. So if you know two, two of the sides of a rectangle, the two sides with different lengths, then you can find the perimeter. So one way to do it would be to add up all the sides. So there's two 15s and there's two 32s. So instead of adding all this up, I could just do 2 times the length and add that to 2 times the width. So the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. So in this, in this case, if I'm using the formula, 2 times 15 is 30, and 2 times 32 is 64. 30 plus 64 equals 94. So it would be 94 meters because the units on this rectangle were meters. Okay, a circle, it's a little more complicated. A circle, the distance around it, we call the circumference. For every circle, the ratio of circumference, C, to, to the diameter, D, is the same. The ratio C over D is represented by the Greek letter N, called pi. Pi is approximately equal to 3.14, or the f a fraction 22 over 7. And you might want to use both. It depends on what the radius or the diameter are. By solving the equation C over D equals N for C, you get the formula for circumference, which is C equals pi times D or c equals 2 times pi times r. So remember the diameter is the distance across the circle and the radius is the distance halfway across the circle. The circumference is the distance around the circle. So there's the three vocabulary words you need to solve for the circumference of a circle. Hopefully in your class you'll do some lessons to try to better understand what pi is. But let's just try using pi. So if we have a circle and the diameter of the circle is 8 inches, how could we find the circumference or the distance around? Well, the circumference of a circle is 3.14 times the diameter. It's 3.14 times bigger than the diameter. For every circle, if you take the diameter and multiply it by pi, you have the circumference. So we'll just use the formula. C equals pi times the diameter, which is 8. So if I use a calculator, I would use the number pi and multiply it times 8. And I just flipped over to my calculator and did pi times 8 and got 25.12357, if I remember correctly. So it would be a good final answer for this problem. It's in inches. So maybe the circumference is 
25.1, maybe 1.2 inches would be a good answer for the circumference of this circle. So to find the circumference of a circle when you're giving, given a radius, the distance around the circle, when all we're given is a radius, the distance halfway across the circle, we use a different formula. We have to multiply the radius times 2 and then multiply that times pi. So c equals 2 pi r, 2 times pi times r. Another way to solve this one, because 14 is a radius and it's a multiple of 7, we could use another number in place of pi. 22 over 7 is equivalent to pi. Let's just take a look at that. 22 divided by 7. 27 goes into 22 three times. There are 3 times 7 is 21. The remainder is 1. Bring up the decimal. Bring down the 0. 7 goes into 10 once. 10 minus 7 is 3. Bring down the 0. 7 goes into 34 times. The remainder is 2. I could keep this going and I'd get a number that's pretty close to pi. So I can use 22 over 7 as well in place of pi. So I could do c equals 2 times 22 over 7 times 14. And I probably should have put 14 here. And it's 2 times pi times 14 to find the circumference when the radius is 14. So multiplication being commutative, I'll do this first. 2 times 14 is 28. So it's 28 times pi. I'll do the same thing over here. 2 times 14 is 28. So it's 28 times 22 over 7. And it might be helpful to put 28 over 1 because I'm multiplying fractions. So if I use my calculator and do 28 times pi, I get 87.96 centimeters for the circumference of the circle with a radius of 14. If I use 22 over 7 in place of pi, well I can pre-cancel. 7 goes into itself once into 28 four times. Now if I multiply across, I get 88 centimeters. Pretty close answer. Basically the same thing if I rounded 87.96 to 88. Okay, now that you know how to find the perimeter of polygons and the circumference of circles, you try. Click pause and try the six problems in your notebook. And when you're done, click play to check your answers. For numbers 1 through 3, find the perimeter of the polygons. 4 and 5, the circumference of the circle. And number 6, it's a word problem. Use the given information to find the circumference of the Ferris wheel. Good luck. Okay, for number one, it's a triangle. To find the perimeter of a triangle, I need to add up all the sides. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 8 is 18. So the perimeter or distance around this triangle would be 18 meters. It's important I use the units, or the letter M for meters. If you don't use the correct units, your teacher might mark it wrong. It kind of shows you don't really understand the question. Making it meters, you are by making it meters, you are pointing out the fact that you know it's a distance, distance around the triangle. For number two, I could add up all the sides, but since two sides are the same, I could multiply two times five and add to that two times seven, because there's two fives and two sevens, to get ten plus fourteen, or twenty-four inches. So for number two, the perimeter is 24 inches. For number three, if I know that side is 6 inches, I know this side is 6 inches, and also this would be 12. So I could do a similar thing. I could add up all four sides, or I could multiply each side by 2. Just to make it a little shorter, using the equation 2L plus 2W, and I'd get 12 plus 24, which is... 36 inches. So number 3 is 36 inches. For number 4, 
We have a circle, and the given information is a diameter. Now we need to find the circumference. So to find the circumference, we multiply pi times the diameter. 3 is not a multiple of 7, so I wouldn't multiply this one by 22 over 7. I'd simply do pi times 3. And I have to flip over my, to my calculator to get this. I know it's going to be somewhere around 9, but let me check. And I got 9.42 feet. So if you did the math on paper, maybe you got 9.4 feet. <clears throat> if you used a calculator, maybe you put in more decimals. But I probably would put the answer as 9.4 feet. Sorry about coughing in your ear there. I had to clear my throat. Okay, number five. Find the circumference of the circle given the radius 21 inches. So if I have a radius, I need to multiply it times 2. So it would be 2 times the radius times pi. 21, in, 21 is a multiple of 7, so I might try the 22 over 7 trick for this one. So that equals 2 times 21 times pi, or 22 over 7. I can pre-cancel. 21 is a multiple of 7. 7 goes into itself once and 21 three times. Now if I multiply across, I get 6 times 22, which is 120 plus 12, or 132, and this is inches. So the circumference of this circle would be 132 inches. Let me just go over to my calculator to check. When I did it on a calculator, I got 131.9. There's more decimal places than that, but that would probably round up to 132. But again, it's really close. So if you used pi and used a calculator, maybe you got 131.9. If you used 22 over 7, you got 132. For number 6, Ferris wheel has a circumference of 440 feet. What is the approximate diameter of the Ferris wheel? Use 3.14 for n. So we're just going to use 3.14, not the button pi. The question is, what is the diameter? So to find circ circumference, I do pi times the diameter. So in this question, we're trying to find d when we know pi and we know c. The circumference is 440 feet. So 440 equals 3.14 d. And I need to solve for d. So to solve for d, I'm going to divide both sides by 3.14. So I need to do 440 divided by 3.14 to find d. After flipping over to my calculator, I got 140 as a rounded answer. So the diameter of the Ferris wheel is 140 feet making its circumference 440 feet.